My dear listeners, God has a secret message for you today so don't miss this important message. Watch this message till the end. God wants to convey this message to you through me and this message will be very important for you people know that whatever happens in our life happens by the will of God and whatever God keeps giving in our life, it remains with us in every situation and no one can change it. Neither we nor anyone else and this message is very important for you, so you guys do. Not skip this video even a bit, watch it till the end and listen, this message is about your house and about a woman, so God is giving you this message through me and this message is going to prove to be very wonderful and good for you. God creates something good for everyone does it, so he has created many wonderful things for you too and wants to convey all those things to you. So you guys keep doing your work and live your life well, listen carefully to whatever God will tell you in this message. So let's start this message people watch this message till the end, listen well without stopping the video in between. A message for the house you are living in, Jesus says, in the Bible, a house often symbolizes not just a physical dwelling, but also the spiritual state of one's heart and soul. The phrase, this is about the house you are living in, invites us to reflect on our lives and the spiritual condition of our hearts, which are, in essence, the true homes we dwell in, preparing your heart and home, when we consider our homes, both physical and spiritual. It's essential to remember that they should be places of peace, love, and readiness for God's presence. Jesus frequently spoke of the importance of being prepared, as illustrated in the parable of the wise and foolish virgins, Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13. Just as those who were wise kept their lamps filled with oil, so too should we keep our hearts and homes prepared for what God might bring into our lives. A woman is The coming. mention of a woman arriving soon could symbolize the arrival of someone bringing a significant change or a message from God. Throughout the Bible, women are often messengers of God's will. Consider Mary, the mother of Jesus, who brought forth the Savior into the world. This could be a metaphorical way of saying that something or someone is coming into your life that will require your attention and readiness. The key takeaway is to be vigilant and open-hearted. Whether this woman represents a literal person or a figurative event, the message is about being prepared to welcome what God has planned. It may be a call to service, a new responsibility, or a moment of spiritual growth. By ensuring that the house of our hearts is in order, we can be ready to embrace whatever God sends our way. In conclusion, this message serves as a reminder to tend to the spiritual house we inhabit. Just as we maintain our physical homes, we must also ensure our hearts are places where God's love can dwell and grow. By staying vigilant and prepared, we can welcome the blessings, challenges, and opportunities that God will bring into our lives, whether they come through the presence of a woman or in another form, Jesus Christ says, whether you are dealing with past issues in a relationship or are facing a current situation, things will work out. This may involve conflict resolution. Or it may mean ending a current relationship and starting a new one based on balance and generosity. In either case, 
you are moving toward a healthy give-and-take relationship. You are on the threshold of completion, fulfillment, and new beginnings in your love life. You may be nearing the end of a phase that leads to a deeper bond or a new beginning. Expect positive outcomes and a sense of completion. When meeting new people, things may move fast or quick decisions may be required. Expect honest and direct communication. There may be an element of urgency with, or you may need to take a bold step in your love life. Career-wise, you may be dealing with legal issues, contracts, or important decisions. Some of you will receive bonuses, promotions, and mentorship. If you feel like you are not getting what you deserve, know that you are now being fairly compensated for your work or will soon be able to share in your wealth. Many of you will achieve big career goals or move on to new opportunities. Success and fulfillment await. Perhaps on a global scale or in ways that will make a bigger impact. But know that this is a time that calls for quick decisions and bold action. It is also a time of increased focus and determination as you move forward to achieve your goals. The signs you may be dealing with are Libra, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, and Taurus. You can use any letter, take what resonates with you, prayer to the angels, Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and reverence, acknowledging the presence of your holy angels who watch over us and guide us. On this day, August 25th, we seek the protection, guidance, and comfort of these divine messengers. Lord, we thank you for the angels you have assigned to care for us. We ask that you surround us with their presence, granting us their protection from harm and their wisdom in our decisions. May they help us navigate the challenges of life, providing us with strength and courage when we are weak. We also pray for the angelic guidance in our relationships and endeavors. May the angels inspire us to act with kindness, love, and compassion, reflecting your grace in all that we do. Help us to be attentive to the ways in which they may be guiding us, whether through a gentle whisper, an unexpected sign, or a comforting presence. In moments of doubt or fear, let the angels remind us of your eternal love and faithfulness. May their presence bring us peace and reassurance, knowing that we are never alone and that your protection surrounds us at all times. We also lift up to you those who are in need of angelic intervention today. Whether they are facing physical, emotional, or spiritual struggles, may your angels bring them comfort, healing, and hope. Let your light shine through them, guiding them towards your solace and strength. Lord, help us to remain open to the work of your angels in our lives. Teach us to recognize their influence and to be grateful for their unseen support. We trust in your divine plan and the roles that your angels play in our journey. We offer this prayer in the name of your Son. Jesus Christ, and with the help of your holy angels. Amen. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.